I'm generally a pretty positive person and I find that I'm perhaps a little bit more negative than I used to be. I've, I've started actually going to see a psychologist because um, I, f I feel I need to be able to talk to somebody outside the family about what's going on. This illness has been in our family since 2010. Um, it, it feels like it's been there forever now. It takes over the family, yeah. Yeah, we don't go away on holidays, we spend all our money going to therapists and things like that. So yeah, it, it just invades your family life. I think there is still that myth that people choose to have an eating disorder and they, and they, they don't do that. Um, I, ha I have, we have experienced the stigma of eating disorders. To the GP and they, the GP had said that we needed to go up to emergency and I was with my husband and we got into the car and I got him to get into the back of the car with her and as we were driving along she, tr she opened the door and she tried to jump out of the car. He said that she would, she would kill herself before she went to hospital and she looked at me dead in the eye and said I'll never forgive you if you take me to hospital. And I said to her, I don't care. I said, as long as you're alive, I don't care if you never talk to me again. So, um, I think I have blamed myself at times. Um, and when I see that all three of them have, have had, you know, have been caught up in this illness, I think surely I must be doing something wrong. Uh, I've only recently started going to carer support groups and I really wish that I had done that a long time ago. 